Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss effects of rigid motion on a given figure after transformation, and we will see if the two figures are congruent or not. Now we have learned that figures in a plane can be reflected, rotated, or translated to produce new figures. Now in our earlier sessions, we had discussed about rigid transformations and isometry. And now let us recall rigid transformations. Now rigid transformations are those transformations that do not change the shape and size of a figure. That is, they preserve the distance between the points and angle measure. Now translation, reflection and rotation are rigid transformations and these transformations are called rigid motions. And now let us discuss effect of rigid motion on a given figure. Now here let us take an example of rotation. Suppose I have a cardboard cut in a shape of triangle. Let its vertices be P, Q and R. Now if this triangle PQR is rotated about a fixed point by a certain angle, we obtain its rotated image as triangle P dash Q dash R dash. Since we do not need any alteration in its angles and length of its sides while rotating, so corresponding sides and corresponding angles of the two triangles are equal. So, we have distance of line segment PR is equal to distance of line segment P dash R dash Similarly, distance of line segment QR is equal to distance of line segment Q dash R dash and distance of line segment PQ is equal to distance of line segment P dash Q dash. Also, measure of angle RQP is equal to measure of angle R dash Q dash P dash. Similarly, measure of angle PRQ is equal to measure of angle P dash R dash Q dash and measure of angle QPR is equal to measure of angle Q dash P dash R dash. Thus, corresponding sides and angles of these two triangles are equal. So, distance is preserved and angle measure is also preserved. So, it is a rigid motion that is rotation is a rigid motion. Similarly, Translation and reflection are rigid motions. And now let us discuss congruence. Now two figures are congruent if they have exactly the same shape and size. If one figure is cut out and it can be placed exactly on the top of other, then these figures are congruent. 
Now see the following figures. Can we find which pair is congruent? For this, we replace one of the figures on the other figure. Now when we place blue star over orange star, it will exactly lie above the orange star. And if we place orange star over blue star, it will also exactly lie over the blue star. Thus, the two stars are congruent. Now, in this figure, if we place green circle over this blue circle, we will see that this green circle will be smaller than this blue circle and it will not lie exactly on the blue circle. So here, the two circles are not congruent. And now let us discuss congruence and rigid motion. Now here we will see whether the two figures are congruent when rigid motions like translation, rotation and reflection are performed on a figure. Now see the earlier example. Here we had rotated the triangle PQR about a fixed point by a certain angle and we are getting its rotated image as triangle P dash Q dash R dash. Now let us place triangle P dash Q dash R dash over triangle P Q R. Now while placing keep the image points on the pre-image points like place vertex P over P dash, vertex Q over Q dash and vertex R over R dash. And here we observe that triangle P dash, Q dash, R dash lies exactly over triangle P, Q, R. So here the two triangles are congruent. Such that line segment PR is equal to line segment P dash R dash. Then line segment QR is equal to line segment Q dash R dash. And line segment PQ is equal to line segment P dash Q dash. And Measure of angle RQP is equal to measure of angle R dash Q dash P dash. Similarly, measure of angle PRQ is equal to measure of angle P dash R dash Q dash. And measure of angle RPQ is equal to measure of angle R dash P dash Q dash. Thus, we observe when rigid motions like translation, rotation and reflection are performed on a geometrical figure, then the two figures, that is, the pre-image and its image, are congruent. We also conclude that two geometrical figures are congruent if their corresponding sides and angles are equal and you must note that dilation is a non-rigid motion because it increases or decreases the size of figure and 
the image after dilation is not congruent to original figure. So in this session we have discussed rigid motion and congruence. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.